Hi, this is Piotr Walczyszyn, Adobe Developer Evangelist, and today uh, is the second video of a two-part series about all of the authorization of your Flash or Flex applications. Uh, in this video, I'll jump into code and actually you will see how you can build your own applications that use uh, the out of authorization. Uh, so uh, I'll demonstrate that on the example that we'll use um, uh, data APIs from Google and I'll access my uh, Picasso web albums to uh, list all the albums that I have um, stored uh, on, on the uh, Picasso web service. All right, so uh, let me first show you the application so you better understand uh, what's going on in the code. So when I run the application, and as you can remember from my uh, previous episode, the first thing you have to um, do in OAuth authorization is to get a request token from the service provider. So that's what I do when I press this button. And there was a, a transparent to the user uh, request to the service uh, on Google's site. I requested a request token. Once I got the request token, I could redirect the user and open this embedded browser in my mm, application that pointed to the uh, authorization site on the Google site and then I can put my login name and in this case it will be my here go and my password now when I log in uh, I get redirected to another uh, web page where I can grant access uh, of my application to a Picasso web albums so that's what I'm going to do here so once I accept, I got, I granted my application to access the Picasso web albums, uh, and at the end I got my albums listed, where you can see some of the events where I was actually attending. Um, all right, so let's see what happens in the application itself. So as you can remember uh, from the previous episode, the zero step was to obtain the key and the secret from the remote service provider. In case of um, uh, Google, if you're building a desktop application, and in my case it's an Air application, uh, the key and the secret is anonymous, anonymous. Uh, in case of other service providers, maybe like uh, Twitter, Facebook, TripIt, uh, you probably go uh, into the website there, you log in and you register uh, your application and you generate a key and a secret for your app. In case of Google, it's just anonymous, anonymous. All right, so uh, the first thing, uh, as you remember, I press the button to obtain the request um, uh, token. Uh, so the way I do it, uh, I use the OAuth request uh, class, and this class uh, comes uh, with the library called uh, OAuth AS3. It's available on Google Code, and you can see uh, a download link or the, the link with the Google Code uh, web page. And credit goes here to Shannon Hicks for actually contributing this library um, and open sourcing it so that we can use it in our applications. So again, OAuth request is the class that allows us to make uh, all out authorized requests uh, to remote services. First thing I hear, I instantiate this, this class. I specify certain parameters like uh, type of the request, like it will be a POST request, what will be the, U the next parameter, what will be the URL where I will obtain the request token. Next, I have also some parameter like all out callback. This is the URL where my user will be redirected back um, uh, after successful authorization of my application. Next is the scope. Uh, scope is actually what kind of uh, resources I want to access and in case of Google it's in, in this um it's, it's this URL. Uh, if you go to the uh, Google API documentation, you can actually list all of the possible URLs or the scopes, uh, not only in this case Picasso Web Albums, but also calendar uh, services, email services, anything that Google uh, actually provides. And also the, uh, there's an additional uh, field here, I'll, X all out. This is extension sort of that tells uh, the application the name of the application that uh, that will be accessing the service. So the next thing is after we create this all out request object, 
uh, we just create a standard URL request and we point that URL request uh, to the URL that, uh, that we can obtain a request uh, token from. Next we have to add a header to the request. Uh, this header contains all the signed authorization um, values that are necessary for, for the Google service to, or the OAuth service to, to authorize our app. Next I specify the method, this is post, and I also add some data uh, that will be passed like scope and OAuth. Excel display name as parameters of my uh, post uh, request. So once we have the URL request, we can start using the URL, URL loader uh, to make the, the request to the remote service. And I register here some event listeners for complete when I get a result or if in case of any faults, errors, I of course register the error handler here. And uh, I make a call uh, using the load function. Once I get a, a successful result, uh, this uh, function will be fired. And here what I'm doing, I'm using this uh, again from the OAuth AS3 library, I'm using this util um, uh, class to create a response token, uh, or it's called OAuth, OAuth token uh, based of the, on the data that I received uh, from the remote service. Uh, here is a simple, those next two lines that you see here, uh, this is just a sort of a workaround for non-URL safe characters that are uh, sent back from the Google service, but don't worry about that. Um, all right, so once I got the request token, I can pop up this embedded browser uh, in my application, and here I have this OAuth window, which has the uh, a HTML component, which will redirect the user to the um, Google's uh, web page where he, he can authenticate and then authorize the application. And I have to redirect the user uh, using this um, authorized URL, uh, token URL, and also add a uh, all out token value which I received from the request token. So once uh, the user goes through the process, I also register the location change handler function which listens uh, to any changes of my uh, location property of the HTML component. And if the location changed and it contains the all out verifier value in this case, it means that the user was uh, authenticated, then authorized, and out of this URL, I can extract uh, a value of this OAuth verifier. So this code here, I won't go into the details, it just sort of parses the URL and uh, creates the OAuth verifier value for me, and then at the end dispatches the complete handler, which goes back to the, my main view, and here it is, the OAuth window complete handler function, which will be fired in this case and it closes the embedded window browser and creates again all out request and this request will be to uh, to obtain an access token so this is one of the last steps of the whole process and here i have to specify again some parameters like post what's the url for getting the access token what's the uh, all out verifier that i received uh, after the successful authentication uh, and authorization and uh, I create again URL request. I add some headers with the sort of a, a, a token signature here. And I specify that's the post request. Again, using the real URL loader, I can make the call to obtain the access token. Once I obtain the access token, again, I'm using the OAuth util here to uh, create an access token object which I can use further on in my application and also some code here uh, is uh, storing this access token for the future runs of my application using the encrypted local storage so safely in the application store so anytime the user opens up an application again, he will uh, see the, uh, he will not have to uh, re-log in, re-authenticate, he will use already uh, available access token. And that's basically it. And next, once we get the access token, we can start using the remote services APIs and in, like in this case of this application, get all the uh, Picasa web albums uh, from, the, from the Google service. Okay, so if you want to go deeper into the application itself uh, and see how to access actually those uh, Google services, uh, you can download it from the link that you see. In, uh, you should see in the bottom of the screen. And of course, um, good luck with all out authorization and building your apps.
Thank you very much and goodbye.